number one early time after time after time we are watching murderers go free they hide behind their badges they hide behind their white privilege and they use the excuse that they fear for their lives to murder our young people in cold blood it's done Ex, my brother. No, no, no. Don't think about it. All you self-righteous assholes do is march and destroy your own communities. Killing me won't change a goddamn thing. <laughs> it's a lot different when it's a grown black man standing in the ground. Barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Live from the Hawthorne Estate, man. And uh, I just got off the phone with my man, L. And I appreciate it. He's on the road, man. And uh, he reminded me of this clip. And I actually want to clip this clip, man. And uh, it inspired me to start doing this more. But make before that, make sure you guys see the link below. Checks and Balances, the movie, man. Film of the year. It's already an award-winning film. And uh, it's going to be a hell of a ride for the next... Uh, for the next uh, for the next year to 18 months, man. But I want to play this clip of Wesley Muhammad storming off, storming off, storming off out of the shop when primary accounts correct him and prove him to be a liar as it pertains to Elijah Muhammad and his woman and all his, all his quote, holes, you know, by a woman who actually lived in the house with him, you know, including John Ali. I, I had three first person accounts. Uh, John Ali, Khalila Muhammad, and uh, I'm not going to release the other one until I release her interview. But um, but anyways, man, I, I just want to play this clip, and it proves that they've been lying about Michael Mex for years, and I'm glad the internet is alive and well because it's going to prove uh, th that they've been the runners with this narrative, but history is going to prove them to be wrong, and I'm look and, and I know when I'm long gone, these videos that are here will prove the test of time. But here's Wesley Muhammad. I let him talk for two hours and then I hit him with the bombshell from first person accounts from new quotes. And then he runs and runs off the show. But here we go. Check this out, y'all. Share the screen. And by the way, don't forget to click uh, checks and balances. Incredible film. And uh, I had a film called Nine Wives. Everybody go to nine W I the number nine. W I V E S dot movie. And that nine wise film is, is freaking incredible, man. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the support of that film. But I'm going to play this clip. I'm going to enlarge the screen. And uh, we're going to. Here we go. For me to finish this, and you can take your time and respond. He's going off of, he's going off of what he's read. He's going off of maybe conversations he's had with Louis yeah, Farrakhan. You assume I don't have first. No, no, I know you do. I know you do. And, and feel free to use them. Feel free we to want a name jump now. <laughs> no, I don't want a name drop. Feel free to use them. Feel free to use them. I'm just going to say this. All this time, he has said those are not his wives. I have he quote, who? Uh, uh, Elijah Muhammad. I have quotes from um, the conversations Muhammad Ali has had with his then wife, Khalila Muhammad. I have had conversations with John Ali, who said on the third floor, on the third floor of his house, on the third floor of his house, he had so many secretaries. He said so many. He didn't, I said, how many? He said he had so many. He said he had so many. And, and at the end of the day, Khalilah Muhammad was there for that conversation. And it's going to come out. I, I have it. Khalilah Muhammad said she was there when Malcolm X went in that room and had that conversation. And she said she wished she could have been a fly on the wall for that conversation. Because when Malcolm X came out of that, came out of that room, he was hurt. 
-hmm. And she served him. She served him. And they had the conversation. But guess what? I have that dialogue. And that's going to come out in some time. Now, the point of the matter is Khalilah Muhammad lived with Elijah Muhammad, which is a fact. We have pictures every every age of her life going to the, I forget the school. What's the Islam school? What's the name of it in Chicago? University of Michigan. Yeah, Muhammad University. She sat down with C C Clara Muhammad three days a week, three days a week, having conversations with Clara Muhammad about Elijah Muhammad taking all his secretaries and flying them to, let me finish, flying them to Phoenix, Arizona, doing whatever he does there. And I asked Khalil Muhammad, I said, I said, was that, was the Phoenix, Arizona home, his whole house? She says, then some, he says, she says, all those women were hoes. And she was in the house at the same time. And I want y'all to think I'm making this stuff up. I really, let me, just, no, let me, I want y'all to think that I'm making this stuff up because I have the interviews. And that's why I let you talk the whole time and give these facts because I am going to edit this out and have a first person account. You were 40 something, 50 something years old. You wasn't there. I have people that are there. I have John Ali who was there and who was, who said out of his own mouth. Yeah. We all sat down. We all sat down and I saw the pain in Claire Muhammad eyes. We all sat down. He had all these women and we had dinner together on Sundays or something. I don't know what a day it was, but I have all of this. So the fact that he's saying that those were his wives and I have two people, John Ali, who's a national secretary. Malcolm X said they were his wives. No, okay, I don't. Listen, I know. I, I know you. Thanks for the interjection. Khalil Muhammad, who lived with Elijah from the age of three until she got married at seventeen to Muhammad Ali, and I have the conversations her and Muhammad Ali had about the disgusting behavior of Elijah Muhammad, and the most powerful quote that he so made. Now, so now the conversations degenerate no. into you. No, no, let me you're not gonna invite me on your can platform. I can I finish? Just to disrespect the can most vulnerable lives. Can I finish? Don't do that, can I finish? I'm quoting I'm not that type of Muslim. See how you see how you see how you're now. Well, see, now, 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 don't do that. now you see how I'm not gonna sit here as a Muslim now, even though now you guys see how he's deflecting. <laughs> you guys see how he's deflecting. And uh, he's he's trying to uh, get me off task as and intimidate me with kind words. But it doesn't work for young journalists or YouTubers. This would work. But I'm not getting off subject and we will continue. Y'all, why are you cutting me off? And let you don't do that. OK, let me pull up the quote. Let me pull up the quote because you think I'm making shit up. No, I'm no. Can you send me that quote, please? Because I think it's fair that we because oh, no, if the conversation is degenerating to that, and no, you want to quote I want to talk about, I want to talk about it. the subject is I'm quoting. it's renegotiation. Okay, we're gonna That's have this conversation. No, no, because that, that, I, let me say this. Let me just say cut me off. You just cut me off, though. You just cut well, me off. Yeah, because it's eleven minutes. I appreciated our time together. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to play. I want you to stay and listen to this stuff. I want no, you to... no, because you're not going to disrespect. I'm not. I'm quoting. Right? I'm quoting. I'm quoting. Not, I'm not disrespecting not nothing. I'm quoting. quoting you Malcolm. I'm quoting. You're not going to quote disrespect of the most boy Elijah Muhammad, not while I'm on the platform. Mary. This is Louis Farrakhan Mary. speaking. They produced for him. Oh, him. I don't want nobody to be said out that was his wife. No, that was his woman or his hoe or whatever. It ain't no wife. And I'm being honest with you and I'm being straight up. This is Khalila Ali, Muhammad Ali's second wife. Uh, Belinda Boy, also known as Khalila Ali, who, met, who was married to uh, Muhammad Ali from 1967 to 1977. with you and I do not hold my tongue about the truth. 
Thank you, Lord. I wanted to use Malcolm, but Jesus I took Malcolm. Malcolm identified your, your woman, your woman or whatever. You offer. And it ain't your wife. And I, I hate I hate to be rude or anything like that, but I'm just being honest. It's your trollop that you do anything you want with her in spite of you having a wife and disrespecting her. And quote. And quote. No, that's quote. her perspective. She, she lived she with not, Elijah not, Muhammad. No, we're we're she's not. no, she's not more authoritative than Malcolm, who said wise. I know, I know. I know you know. Now you know you didn't. No, but, so, I, let's end it on that note. Let's end it. Our eleven minutes are up. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Really, I did. This was fun. I hope your audience learn much. Black facts matter, brother. And inshallah, you will continue to grow, evolve, and your platform will continue to grow. Oh, we, we, we have no choice but to grow. Anything ain't growing is dead. That is right. So may Allah continue to bless you. Appreciate you. Make sure y'all go subscribe. Well, this is on my backup channel. I, I wish I had I have close to 100,000 on my main channel. I just got a strike last night. So we, we would have uh, you, you would have got more followers from this, but you know, I mean, I had to use my backup channel. So uh, it was a pleasure. But but thank you. But um, yeah, if if, if you want to respond to this in your video, feel free to clip it. And I got I got bullets, man. I got bullets. John, you didn't have any today. You had blanks today. No, I had, <laughs> you, caught, you, caught, you, caught, you blank, have blanks today. I blank cares. <laughs> my blank cares. You like, like like every black person. Will, Oh, uh, when they hear a gunshot, they run. They run. They the, run. Black man, the black man is God. And that includes you too. May Allah bless you and your audience. Peace. 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 Oh, man. So as you guys can see, the moment I brought out my primary facts, the man started to run. And he'll, he won't come back on my platform, man, because... Everyone is mesmerized by his three or four syllable words and they don't hold him accountable to the truth. Everyone got, oh, I love Michael Max. Oh, I love this. I love that. But won't stand on truth and integrity. It's not who's right or who's wrong. It's the truth, you know. So anyways, man, I, I, I just thought I'll clip this and um, barbershop conversations, man. You guys have a great time. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight at 730. <laughs> Peace, y'all.